Hello guys, uh, Tom Zhang here. Uh, thank you for uh, coming back to my show. And, then, and this is uh, part two to my uh, sort of uh, Let's Play series. And uh, uh, if you haven't seen part one, please go ahead and check it out. Uh, good stuff. And I will make commentary throughout the video uh, as I play. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But uh, just to sum everything up for, from part one, I created a sim and uh, I want him to uh, join the daddy daycare profession which is the new profession in generations expansion pack and I built him a well first of all I bought this big lot so it's actually a little bit bigger than I expected and uh, and I sort of just built um, a very rudimentary uh, building or house or whatever you like to call it and so now I am going to work on the second floor, which is also where he is going to reside. And uh, uh, I'm also going to put in some, uh, uh, let's see, going to put in an oven here somewhere and maybe work on the backyard. And now probably I'm actually going to get one of those uh, PlayStations or whatever they're called, video games. And so obviously you see this um, Generations icon, so this is the new item in here, so I am going to purchase this. And actually it does, it does kind of look like a uh, PlayStation. Um, Alright, so obviously we're going to have one of these arcade machines out here just in case the sims get bored and let's see where should I put it alright right here facing the bathroom let's see we're gonna get Darwin's Revenge and maybe I'll put in uh, another one just in case you know so the guys don't fight over it And let's see what else we have here. Um, so I got the dining area. I got the uh, sofa and everything. We're just missing cars. And um, <clears throat> let's see what we got. Maybe I'll put in one of these marble statues just to add a, a you know, add a little bit of taste to the house digital fishiness display oh nice um actually I wouldn't know where to put it maybe I'll try upstairs and yes if it's perfectly upstairs it looks very beautiful um, Alright, so let's see what else we have here. Obviously, we're going to have to furnish uh, the rest of the rooms. And um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these rooms right here. Um, so, let me just... Let me just actually just play it. And, uh, you know, add, I will add in more furnitures uh, as uh, The Sims progress.
Oh, he's actually joined up in the uh, daycare business as well uh, already, so I'm, I'm uh, a little bit ahead of myself. So hopefully here in, in the little bit, um, oh well, today is his rest day. So hopefully tomorrow uh, he's going to start his first day and have uh, first toddlers coming in. And he does have the childish trait, so obviously he is going to play with toys, uh, even though at age 20-something. And I'm, I'm actually going to make sure that the uh, aging is turned on. Okay, good. And I'm actually going to suppress opportunities because uh, those things really get me annoyed. Alright, so obviously he just chatted with somebody and uh, Hannah is her name and she happens to be single so who knows, might invite her actually over to the house and see what happens. And actually, I am going to invite over uh, Hannah, Hannah Smith. Oh, crap. <laughs> nice try, though. And I just realized something. I forgot to put lighting into the second floor. So everything looks really pitch dark. And that is what I'm going to do now. Add some lighting. And this object is unique only to generations. It doesn't seem to uh, add lighting that well, so I am going to add some uh, lanterns, uh, which I don't know why is blue. Uh, you know, Chinese lanterns are actually red. So maybe, uh, let's see, I think that would do it. And... Let's add one of these blue read it anywhere light. It looks pretty nice. It's not as fashionable as I hope to be, but you know, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta take it. And let's see, add this is this is actually really nice. This one right here. And I like well, we already have that downstairs, so I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit so we don't have the same thing going on. Uh, let's see what else we have. I, th I think that will do. Uh, let's see what we have for the bathroom. Uh, let's see the bathroom lighting. 
Oh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, so I am going to just maybe add that. Yeah, that's a very nice ambient lighting. Uh, a very nice touch to it. And I think I forgot to add maybe uh, a place to wash your hands at. Which I am going to do now. And I'm also going to add a mirror. <clears throat> That's a little too big. Um, so I am going to add Reflection V. It looks good. And maybe I'm going to add this mirror. Let's see. Right outside here. So uh, it looks more like a little uh, a gym mirror or whatever you call it, yoga mirror. Oh boy. Alright, so I think that's uh, quite enough for now. So I'm going to go back to the living mode. Oh, what we have here, I think it's a burglar. Is it a burglar? There we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, and, and <laughs> it's a girl too. That's funny. Alright, so it is the morning, and I think in about two hours he's going to have his first day as Daddy Daycare. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so obviously we have our first two customers, and um, I'm actually surprised this these are toddlers. Um, oh my goodness, this girl, she knows how to walk, and this kid does too, oh my goodness. And they seem to know where the toys are too, that's what's funny. 
I mean, you might think, you know, at their age, they they don't know nothing, but you know, they're actually pretty good at picking out what's good for them. Alright, so obviously they are hungry and I think my sim is cooking not just for himself but uh, for the kids as well. Kind of like his shirt there, that's his, uh, I think that's his uniform. And you can actually see uh, steam coming out of the food if you turn it into HD, so obviously the graphics are really good. And no, he's just cooking for himself. And he's gonna leave the two kids to uh, starve to death. Oh. Mm. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, so I think he just uh, changed her diaper, and obviously she is hungry. I think uh, the Sim is going to put her in one of the high chairs and feed her food. It's kind of funny how he just magically appeared uh, a bowl of oatmeal or what have you. Oh no, and she's eating with her hands. <laughs> Let's see if the little boy will eat with his hands as well. I think it, it's the same for all kids. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Is this little girl a little vampire? She looks kind of different. She looks like a little vampire toddler. I think her eyes are glowing or something. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see her eyes are glowing sort of yellowish or um, I think her mom is a vampire so maybe uh, the trait passes on to all of her offspring. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Diablo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the vampire mom. Alright, so, uh, one of the newer features is obviously associated with the daycare profession, and whenever the parents come in to pick up their kids, they'll give you a daycare end-of-the-day report, and the, uh, the kid's name followed by, uh, the parent's rating, I guess. So, for the, uh, vampire kid, it was okay, and for the, uh, boy, Sebastian, it was good. I think the, uh, highest one you can get is, uh, great. And uh, these ratings will affect your job performance, uh, namely the job experience. So if I were to get both great, I think uh, my job experience would have been right here instead of right here. yeah! <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> <Jim. Our boogles are now Lupa Chazza for Broto. Yeah, but tune it.